You put prior on helping lanes if they need help after going 0-2, asking as a jungler. This is the one thing that's the most difficult for us junglers to, you know, figure out and determine in each game, because every game is different. Let's say you're in a game. Before you've even finished your full clear, your top laner is 0-2. Now, whether or not I believe I can help my top laner getting back in the game depends on a couple of factors. One, what champion are they playing and what champion are they playing into? Let's say if you have um, a Gragas that's losing to an Olaf, Gragas gets hard countered by Olaf. If you go to gank that lane, not only will the ganks be irrelevant, because Gragas' matchup gets worse and worse over time and he's going to lose more and more as the game goes on. But two, if the Olaf is fed enough, he's just going to kill you 1v2. And going top to die in an already losing lane is not a situation that you want to be in. Now, probably the most important thing, how mentally sane is the person that's feeding? If they die and the first thing that they do is spam ping the crap out of me, and blame me and type jungle gap in chat, I am a 90% sure that that person will be unable to take responsibility and learn from their mistakes. They're tilted out of their mind and there's no way that I can help them recover mentally. It's already over for them. In that case, they don't exist anymore. And you just go really hard on the other side of the map. You brute force ganks mid and bot and you try to turn things around by simply creating a lead on bot side that is bigger than what the enemy team has on top. It's a difficult situation to be in because, well, if the enemy bot side plays safe, there's nothing you can do. And you're on a timer because eventually that top laner who is fed is going to take over the game, but you have no choice. Um, now, in a different world, the top laner might be in a good matchup where eventually they'll get back in the game and outscale. They have a good attitude, then things are different. Uh, but there's a lot of factors that you need to take into consideration and keep in mind is what I'm trying to get at. It's not entirely black or white. That's what makes jungle unique and, and, and interesting that, you know, we have so many judgment calls we need to make in each and every game. And what you do in one game might be different in the next one because it's new matchups and new people and new circumstances that we have to work around. We'll do spam pinging. Looks like we are going for some level one shenanigans this game. Spotted. I just realized there's a Siri Yumi in the game. Live in a world where Siri Yumi is playable again. It's like last year all over again. I want to puke. So, let's look at the matchups. Both bot lanes, turbo scaling. If I had a choice, I would take Siri Yumi over Jinx Milio any day of the no, like any day of the week. But our bot lane is also scaling, so it's not entirely bad. Mid lane is going to be pretty consistent. Both of them can either play defensive or aggressive. They have good playmaking ability, lots of CC and gank setup. Top lane, Renekton is stronger than Udyr in the early game. Udyr can fight back and make the lane volatile, however. But he doesn't necessarily need to if he doesn't want to, because Udyr will outscale Renekton over time. Jungle is kind of the opposite. I'm slightly stronger than Vi early game, but the longer the game goes on, the better the conditions are going to be for her. Especially because we have two immobile carries that she can just dive onto and and try to kill. But like we saw last game, Lee can shine in mid and late game. All we need is a good early. If you fall behind, it's it's a tough time. But with a good start, this champion can carry real hard. Okay, top lane is mega volatile right now. Issue being that I'm pathing top to bot away from Udyr. And Vi is pathing directly towards him. Question now is, do I want to invade? Not really. It's not a particularly good situation for me. Doing this kind of clear, I get low early. And there's no um, guarantee that Udyr or any will be able to move before their counterparts. So instead of taking risk and YOLOing and invades, I'm just going to pray that Udyr is going to be okay. Seems like he is more than okay. That's a really good trade for him. It's one for one, but he got a hundred bonus gold from getting first blood. Renekton lost some creeps on the turret, and now because the wave did hit the turret, it's bouncing and slowly pushing back to Udyr. Good times all around. <coughs> <coughs> I 
Mary is greeting for the wave. And he can just flash on her and we get a kill, but I need to be closer. No! I knew she was gonna flash. I just put my Q in the wrong direction. You're so close. Well, I tried to, to go big, but it wasn't meant to be. Push the wave way too fast, we can set up a dive on Renekton once I'm there. Renekton is warding, I think. I warded that bush, I believe. I'll just come from lane. Woody needs to go first, he can walk up and stun him. Both. Knowing the enemy jungle is spots, I might as well take void groups. It's not a camp that you want to prioritize super highly, but it's free golden experience, so might as well grab it. Last game I went for Ravenous Hydra Rush because I was super fit. I think this game I should just go for a more standard build. Sundered Sky. They also have a lot of burst damage. I'm more worried about getting nuked early on. The downside of spending 200 years doing Void Corrupts is that I knew I wouldn't be bot side for a while and actually ended up getting the dragon for free. Pretty good map read from her. Now I regret now I regret doing Void Grubs big time, I would rather have Dragon. Enemy bot is just sitting on the turret, farming safely, we're not gonna be able to kill them. So right now, we can get the bot scuttle, and then we either invade that jungle, or we just go clear our own. I think the invade could be good. Annie and I should be winning mid jungle to be two. Bot lane's pretty strong as well. I just need to keep an eye on the laners. Whenever you invade, make sure that you can't get engaged on and killed freely. Well, I think my Annie is doomed. That was bad. Okay, it started out pretty horrible, but I guess we made it work in the end. Man, the cleanest game mechanically for me. Any lineup is done for me. Get both kills, sir. Bot lane either. If I leave, Vi is gonna dive them. Oh shit. Hopefully, Ari doesn't kill them. I can't be bot lane forever. They have to be okay without me right now. I'm gonna finish Crocs. So I've cleared my entire jungle quadrant and then we can move to the grubs. If we can get those right away, we'll still have time to make it to Dragon so we don't give up a second Drake for free. They're going for Udyo. Want to 
the one. Renekton is losing a wave, and we got the grubs. So we clear this wave. Seriously? She just died to get the plate? There's no way that was worth it. She gets 125, but gives me 300. Strange. I can't go. Or oh, can I? Yeah, now I can. I got Drake. Send the Q to the moon. Any stun incoming? I'll Q when she stuns. Oh shit. These Qs are really not on point right now. This Yumi solo missions are very, very odd. I think we may have won just because we have secured mental advantage, and every single player on the enemy team seemingly has lost their mind. Like, their decisions make zero sense. What are they doing? Oh well. Thank you for the LP, I guess. Scary. I'm moving, but I fucked up. I didn't expect exhaust. That's my bad. I was just being greedy for no reason. I honestly thought that their cooldowns were down after all this fighting. Why spacing? Their blue is spawning. I wouldn't mind contesting it. I'll also fight this boy. I have better items than he does. Even though he's a level up, it should be fine. Oh fuck. I just saw Milio was coming. But <laughs> unfortunately the enemy jungle have appeared a little bit earlier and gapped me. But that's two very silly and unnecessary deaths for me. Oops. Okay, our Jinx is getting mega fed from this. It's actually getting funneled. Not so bad. I need to stop playing like a fool now. Time to start gaming for real again. 5 seconds old. 4, 3. She flashed. We should go tier 2. It's free tier 2. They're trolling. Even if they kill Udyo top, it's really bad for them. We're gonna get so much more. Unbelievable macro from the enemy team. I hope getting top tier 1 was worth it, guys. Smile. Seems fun. Might even be able to end. There's no summoners in Siri, but Yumi might have exhausted again. Yep. That's it. We're on a roll. Huge wins. Really, really nice.
Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? So if you're wondering who I am on the ladder, I'm the one that's lighted up in yellow. Wait, it just updated. I can promise you just one second ago, it called me Oivalos. I saw it with my own eyes, <laughs> but now I decided to update. I'm still not entirely convinced that it's true that I'm ranked 17,730 on the server when Challenger is top 300 and Grandmaster is anyone from like rank 301 to 1000. But what do I know? What do I know? I'm no expert, right? I'm no expert. No, but this bug has been there for like over a year. I wonder when they're gonna fix it. How hard can it be? I'm thinking of playing in Champion. I haven't played in a long time, but I don't know if I'll regret it. It is a champion that Chad usually gets pretty excited about, though. I was made for this. Literally. Let's grab a game on the Jelly Man. Jelly Man returns. This champion is pretty incredible right now. Especially in top and support. But it's also a very strong jungler. I mean, there's a reason I put it in A tier, right? The thing is, no matter what jungler you log in, like there's always a chance you get countered and end up in an annoying situation. Um, but no matter what they pick, enemy carries I can destroy. Like both Callista and Orianna are going to have a miserable time if we go even on hit. Vi is okay for me. I'm, I'm fine with that. It could be a lot worse. With Sack, we prefer going Raptors, Crocs, Red, and some both sides. That's probably going to be the plan. Once we have level 3, we could look mid, but if it's not doable, we just full clear for level 4. Like level 4 5 onwards, it's pretty easy to brute force ganks because we're going to put a lot of points on our jump. And the more points and jumps, the longer the range. I think pretty aggro for now. We'll see if it stays that way. Whenever I play Sack, I always think of LEC Spring Finals 2018 in Copenhagen. The first time I won an LEC trophy. Back then, Sack was a pretty popular champion. I think I played both Sack and Scala in that final. How the times have changed. It was the old sack too, or like with the old ult, where you would jump somebody, you would turn into like a literal big blob or like big jelly, and then jump them into your team. It was so much fun. I missed that ult a lot. It was good times. Good times. Lies in river. Enemy bot is full prior, so we can't fight. And they also wall around mid. This is the best you can do when there's a lane without prior. Just give up Scuttle, immediately walk to the other side and take the other one. Because now I don't lose out, we just go even in jungle and that's okay. Mylon playing with the Twitch Prime, welcome to the curling club. Has been 
Ah, couldn't make it in time. No point even staying, I should just space. Unless... Oh, he still has flash. I kind of assumed his flash was down after he died when he won, but... No mind. But I think we might be able to dive him. Oh shit, bro. What on earth is happening right now? It's legit a clown fiesta. I'm not sure if we're gonna win or lose this. Renekton is pretty fit. Oh fuck. Wow. What a shockwave. Okay. Okay. Oriana is just fake apparently. I'm not sure who wins this. Oh my god, what a game. <laughs> well, it was good. It was really, really good. Even if we traded evenly on kills, it would have been great. Because Aatrox lost so many waves top. And now the wave is bouncing and slow pushing to Renekton. Oh, he's 25 CS up and now. Obviously, that lead is growing even more. I can probably look top again. He still has no flash. The split crank is in our jungle for whatever unknown reason. There's no one staying here, I think. He's gonna be too safe now. We already ganked him a lot, so now he's respecting. We need to help the other side. Um, I wish they had waited just five seconds before they decided to play like literal maniacs. Because then I could actually have been there and we kill everybody. Oh well. If they want to get grey screened, we can't stop them. I came out of base moving directly towards bot and they died on my timing. Now enemy bot is not gankable, so naturally I'm just full playing back towards top and they're gonna have to wait a bit for my next gank timer. If we're really unlucky, then they die again. Right before I make it to bot and the situation just repeats itself. Okay, they're diving. Holy moly. Okay. I am not playing around, but there's no hope. There's no way these guys are gonna be able to carry the game with the way they're approaching this. Just pray that Victor and Renekton can help us carry this game. Plays and move both sides. I'm waiting for Victor to be back and then we can play through mid, try to get mid prior and rotate with him down to his bot. Right now if I move into bot river on my own we're just gonna lose because Vi and I are mostly even and we're losing bot. So 
we include this guy and we can play. I missed pretty much everything. I'm dead as well. We're doomed. My bad. Enemy team played really well, but I definitely could have uh, handled the skill shotting a little bit better. It's not possible. She's sitting so far back. Oh, shit. He flashed over my jump. This time there wasn't much I could do. to heal up. If I do this camp I'll be much healthier and then I can defend mid. would walk here, she went top instead. Draven went from being 2-0 to 2-5. He's just perma running it. There's nothing the rest of us can do about it. If he wants the game to be difficult, then that's the way it's gonna be. to go and kill this Oriana, otherwise we lose fights. So close to killing her. pretty close. My ability is almost landing but just ah, oh, just barely missing every time with the move speed and Callista jumps and whatnot. Yeah. Maybe Callista works a bit. Best chance where we're gonna get to kill her, and she is still alive. What on earth is she alive? It's unbelievable. Come on, kill Callista, please. Kill her. Thank you. Too much. 
It's okay. Victor got a 700 gold bouncy. Finally, the 1v9 machine ended up dead. Wait, our mid lane is 3 levels down. I just realized. I thought Callista was the main problem. Our carries both need a lot of time. We need to buy so much time in this game. I mean, we can win in late game for sure, but... This is a very brutal phase and the problem is... Drake is spawning and we have to fight it. Because otherwise we give them soul. Wombo comboing. Please tell me we win. We're not gonna get a fight better than this one. Like, that was literally a perfect engage. Look how weak we are. <laughs> like, how do we not ace them? It's crazy. Gold bounty and buy. I mean, he's a good Drago for that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So important to Draven. We better hurry up. He's our main damage in Baron. I don't know where Vi is. Okay, she couldn't get into the pit. We need to back. We have so much gold to spend, it would be stupid to fight now. Oh, blue strength. Wait, he walked right into the hook? Uh, can we turn this into a good play? Looks like it might just be a freebie. I would even force that if he's alone. Strange. Draven is getting cold a bit. I'm trying my best to keep him alive. They need to go on Callista. Then we win. Beautiful Renekton turn. Kill him! Thanks for the LP, Renekton. What a hero. What a goddamn hero. Not bad. Six wins, three losses. I'll take it. Fast honor for the crocodile. Oh, top gap. Mega top gap. Well. That's going to be the last game of the day, everybody. Thank you so much to every single one of you for tuning into today's stream. It's been an absolute pleasure. I appreciate you all more than you know. And I'm so thankful that you want to be here and spend part of your day with me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great one. If you dare to queue up for solo cure yourself, I wish you the best of luck. We keep pushing for challenger. Tomorrow, we will get it done. <laughs>